What are we making here? This is uh, a steampunk. It's it's going to be a pumpkin. Uh, what, what did I say? Uh, pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice machine. Uh huh. So the, the, uh, when it's all done, it will be that make believe the pumpkin juice, Fernol's pumpkin juice what do you comes mean out. Make believe. All right, you don't make believe. So these pieces, they came from high tech. Uh, you must have dismantled some oh, yeah. big machine but to anyways, do this. Uh, we, well, we just, what did we dismantle, Jonah? Uh, Main Yankee or something? Uh, the, the furnace at, at Lincoln Academy. Yeah. Yes, you do. Like bonbons, it looks like. All of them. Also, the nuclear power plant from under the Statue of Liberty. Oh, right. right. Okay. It's, lo it's a local brew pumpkin juice. I see. Very different. We could enter this in the comic right there. Pumpkin juice has no caffeine in it. Right. It's organic. I may even have some plumbing parts you could add to this. Excellent. Right? Yay. I'm sure if I went through people's houses, we would have a lot of good plumbing parts. So the, there's a pressure gauge on it. Yes. And that's if to you tell don't you have the correct pressure, the whole then the thing pumpkin juice is in concentrated. Or it could explode. It could explode. We don't want that to happen. So there, there, there's shut off valves and all that. Of oh course. yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I'll have to come back and get a cup of juice later on, That's right? Yeah, you get a cup of juice. It's really good for you, high I antioxidants. Am. Right. And uh, it's going to keep me out of business. Where? Right here. Oh, we're carving pumpkins. Are you recording this art? Yeah. Yeah, we're making a mouse. And, okay, let me see. What are those, the eyes? Yep. Little uh -huh. mouse eyes, and I'm going to put on little mouse ears and a nose and a piece of cheese and some hands. So okay. we'll just, you know, got to go, go as it wants to go. I've already put the tail on if you want to check that out. I'll come back later. Okay. Thanks, Art. What is this sort of like a... Gingerbread house. It's a gingerbread house. Or wow. Or a maybe. Yeah. yeah. Looks a little severe. <laughs> a little scary, huh? Hansel and Gretel is a scary story. Oh, yeah. Well, I hadn't even thought of that. I just thought it was... It turned out okay, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said it was Hansel and Gretel? Yes, Hansel and Gretel and the, and the witch is on the other side. Oh, okay. So this is the witch's house and then that's Hansel and Gretel. Uh-huh. Well, people are getting very creative this year. <laughs> They're not just doing the old carve-out thing. Right. Although, you know, I think carving is harder than decorating and painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. The vision that counts. Michigan? No, the University of Maine. Oh, Maine! Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. That was horrible of me. Ah. So, you're an alum? Yes. Uh huh. They only play Michigan in hockey, but. So, they didn't do bad against Northwestern. Oh, considering. They played very well. Considering. They made uh, $500,000 for the college. Really? They're 5 and 1. That was the only game they lost. So far. So far. Uh huh. Great. So this is sort of a nautical, natural scene of. Yeah, we do a lot of we work here, and we do a lot of main island scenes. So we can kind of stay along those lines. Yeah. So we've got a. What is that, a great blue there? Lots of blue herons, that's the yeah. major theme. <laughs> and who's this going to be, this gourd? More herons. More herons. We're going to poke out here and there. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay. So what's, and we have an eagle down here in the front? Yes. Or a, is it an osprey? Or does it matter? It's an eagle, I believe. Oh, great. We have a work in progress here. Yes, right? definitely work okay. in progress. <laughs>
<laughs> you have a, a drawing that's going, and what's that from a famous poster? Or? That actually, someone else, the person that's doing it with me, put this together, and he'll be here shortly. I'm just trying to get a start on it, so okay. I don't know where he got it from. So you just but transfer. We're, it we're the grill and and bead store, and I work at the grill, so. Uh huh. Great. Trying to get a start on it. Gonna start something. Well, we'll have to come back when it's yes, definitely. further along. <laughs> How long will it take? So I'll this is a. Did you understand the Red Sox? No, I just saw that. I love that. All oh, the oh, beards, so the beards. So beard. now I just need to have eyes and nose to begin with. Yes. Me. Gotta love it. <laughs> so this is sort of a totem, right? It's a totem pole, not a kebab. No. <laughs> Pumpkin That's kebab. Great <laughs> <laughs> right, big grill. <laughs> big grill. Yes. Yes. Love it. So the plumber's doing what he's saying. What are they doing over there? That one's all shiny. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. How big that is. So, this is sort of a traditional carving. This is traditional. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I'm not good enough to do that other stuff. <laughs> now, little, you going to put a light inside? Uh, we'll see. Uh huh. We'll see. It'll probably have to be battery operated when we go to do it. Last year, last year we were at the, over at the bookstore. We could use power from there, but. Uh huh. We'd have to drag it across the sidewalk here. So and what is what is all the plumbing? Uh, oh, we've got a little sculpture going on on top. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, down the street there, they're making a, a pumpkin juicer. Oh, really? Yeah. So. I like the one. What was it last year or two years ago? The one with the knife stuck in it. Uh -huh. It was carving itself. <laughs> like that. Well, I'll have to come back and see how that all, right. all those. Plumbing fixtures work into it. Yep, definitely. Oh, you're taking up the whole sidewalk. I am. I think it's lunchtime. Okay. So I saw you here earlier. So this has been a big project. It, well, I don't know about big. I, I had an original plan, but um. And what I, happened? I, I, to that? It was going to be. Uh, I'm going to save it for next year. But I asked. Got asked to do a second pumpkin. So okay. I decided to simplify. And. Things. And I'm not quite done with this, but um, soon it'll be done. And then I'm going to do my other pumpkin. So do you have stars in your eyes as well? Do I? Well, I'm actually um, a clown. My name is Twinkles. Oh, yeah. So I think in terms of stars all the time. Well, I remember you from around the yeah, corner I've been, there. Yeah, I've been really here for, th this is my third year in this spot, uh -huh. pretty much in this spot. So. I think I taped you a year ago. You, I think so. you did too. I'm looking at you and thinking, I think I re kind of <laughs> remember this guy. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is it, and um, I'm just going to add a little glitter and... Call her down. And uh, I, have, I have a little piece to put on the bottom here, uh, and then I'll be off to my next one, and next year, hopefully I'll do my design from this year, which... And are you coming to clown today? Or no, I'll go tomorrow. over the weekend? I'll be in the parade tomorrow. Oh, great. With my husband. Uh -huh. uh, he's Fumbles, I'm Twinkles, and uh, uh -huh. we're going to have a little basketball for me. Oh, neat. Well, we'll catch places. that on tape, hopefully, as well. Okay. Okay, thanks. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do we got here? This is uh, Tidewater Telecoms. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, you're engraving the Carving, carving into it, yeah. And then what? And Drink. then uh, we're going to run some vines, some artificial vines around it with some fiber optic lighting. Whoa! Yeah. So it'll be on at night. At nighttime, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to come back. To the, to the pole there. So. Uh huh. Well, you can, can't you? Yeah, we, we have our ways. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody can. <laughs> Attach themselves to a pole. That's right. And there'll be some telephones throughout town tomorrow. Oh. Town. If you hear one ringing on the you pole, you have to pick it up pick and, it up and, and answer you it get something, something like uh, candy corn or gift certificates to restaurants. Um, oh wow. Got teddy bears, with all kinds of things. So. Oh okay. I'll have to keep my ears. That's right. That's right. There's a pumpkin sticker on the phone, so you'll know it's ours. Great. <laughs> Oh, 
Was so this part of the painting, a uh, pumpkin thing? Oh, uh, well, we're just getting this ready for the pumpkin fest. Oh, Actually, okay. We were taking it apart to redo it, but they said, oh, just put it together for the pumpkin fest. Okay. Yeah, they got me painting a fence here while everybody else is painting pumpkins. <laughs> a lot more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful energy. It's gr uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's great energy though for down here. <laughs> well, so as time goes on, you're not as as excited about the regatta. And those oh things? no, I love the regatta. No, the regatta is ter terrific. Uh -huh. Um, it's this is a nice way to start the whole process uh -huh. you know because it's the creativity everybody's around making pumpkins and they don't mind people watching them that's the neat part is that you get to be part of the creativity exactly. and the create yeah it's wonderful energy <laughs> oh, thanks. so you're just getting started yeah we're well we're, we're doing a lot of work down in the shop and when everything's ready we're going to come up and assemble it oh so there's a grand design <laughs> I guess so. It's a multi-step process. <laughs> the page. Yeah, we're getting there. There's always a theme, right? Well, I gotta stay. I gotta, you know, I gotta pay the bills. So, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you like to embed things. Mm. I decided I'd leave the pumpkin stalk on the pea. I thought it was kind of. A pro uh -huh. a pro a Yeah, you don't want to emasculate the pork. No. Let's see. Different fabric. Uh, fabric. That's right. When she's gonna have a blanket too. She's got a blanket that's gonna go over her. Uh -huh. you know, and hair, and well, she'll be in bed. Oh, okay. I'm annoyed to death, and I gotta fix her face, but we'll get there. So I take a break from her. Yeah. We get. Uh, Dow furniture to provide a, ma a real mattress. A real mattress that or? probably would be a good plan. No, we don't want her to get comfortable. You know. No, no. She's Very few princesses are, are ever ever comfortable. That's right. Because they always want more, don't oh, they? Oh, no, you're back. I'm the, back. It occurred to me as I was walking along that the uh, uh, anchor inn's going to close this weekend if they haven't our. So this one's relatively happy compared to most of your fingers. I'm not done yet. Uh. Oh yeah? Okay. So what's to come? The eerie and the gruesome? The eerie and the gruesome, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. No sense of happiness can be <laughs> last very long, right? Okay, yeah, I can see see evil creeping. Oh, yeah. I'll have to come back when it's fully embodied. Well, the doll is still ready to see if I can find some Halloween stuff. Hey, I want to get a top hat, like an Alice in Wonderland <laughs> top hat. Oh, neat. That would be good. Well, if you can't find it ready. No. Maybe mention well, what have we got going here? Well, I'm trying to build up a lion. Uh huh. Is that a video camera? It is. Pretty cool. So it's mainly a carving yes. operation. Yep, every bit of it. Oh, I can see the nose developing here and the eyes. This is really, really big, so we're. Uh, a lot of material being removed. I hope it won't be too scary. Uh, we're trying not to do a scary one, actually. Yeah, something that would be easy to do a real scary one. There are small children. As I can see one right there. I'm trying to do kind of a fun one, you know? Yeah. I've had a couple of kids pass by help on it. They've been helping? Yep, I've had a few. Well, I have to come back when it's fully done. Yeah, we're going to work on it for about another hour and a half, two hours, and then we're going to finish it tomorrow morning. We've been going since about six. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of work. 
Yeah. I don't think there's too many people that wouldn't do it, wouldn't take it, huh? Right. Ah. Are those real currency or are yes. those? Yes. I see. So you're gonna have to have an armed guard here. That's right. Yes, right. all night. Got brinks on on call. They're gonna come stand guard. Uh huh. And are some of them chocolate filled? No. 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 Strictly plastic. No. Oh darn. Thank you. Get some more one. Sandwich. Interesting. The challenges of, uh, of carving a 600 pound pumpkin. I'm sure. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah. So, did the handle actually part of the pumpkin? Yeah. yeah. But you've reinforced it. Yeah, well, the once it was carved down to the orange part, uh -huh. it wouldn't, the spray paint wouldn't stick to it. So oh, I see. We had to cover it in tin foil to get the the uh, spray paint, the black spray paint, to actually stick to it. Neat. Little piece of straw or whatever. Yeah, what do you do with that? Well, it's actually, they sell them in Europe and in Mexico. They're made of native reeds. Yeah. And they're for pot scrubbing in oh. your kitchen. Oh. And I had this and I cut some bristles off and painted them black and stuck them in the Oh, neat. <laughs> okay. See, how oh, people work. You just kind of put, put your mind through it. Yeah. I like this one. It's very creative. Thank you. And a little scary, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool if the eyes filled with the long Yeah. So you're just getting started, huh? I am just getting started. And what is it going to be? Well, to start out, I'm going to be taking some of these leaves that I've harvested and spraying some of them with some color and also leaving some of them in their natural state and then applying them on here and carving out some of the pieces and then okay. adding some paint and maybe some glitter. So you could actually use them as stencils, huh? Yeah, yeah, you can. That's what I was just noticing when I was doing that. So, and it's, um, it's spray paint that's made specifically for floral stuff. So oh, wow. everything's going to work properly and not eat it up. Yeah. So you have ferns and... I have some ferns and some pretty maple leaves. And some rose hip. So, wow. yeah. It's been quite floral. Yes. Great. And it might change as I go along, <laughs> working with the different materials. So. Did you lose your pumpkin? Uh, how, do I, how do you mean lose? Well, I know what you're doing. You're trying to keep the spray paint away from the people. I'm just trying to do it where it's not going to get onto anything else. <laughs> <laughs> or even my cars or anybody. And there are the ears. Yep, these ears from my little, from my mouse. Great. Yep. I'm going to take them inside because they'll probably do very quicker inside, but I'm just trying to do as much as I can out here. So you have some assistance today. Yes, we are a team. Uh huh. Wow. Going for the natural look, right? putting some lights up behind the eyelid? No. I just uh, like to keep it simple. <laughs> simple, is, simple is good. Okay. Simple is effective. 
and it's, you know, it's hard to get a light source in there. So. And, and carving these things out is almost, it's really hard to do. So I'm just going to get my thing. Just have to keep guiding it along, see where it wants to go. Uh -huh. This is as much about the pumpkin being what it wants to be as it, as it is about what I want to do with it. Do you have a degree in optometry? In optometry into eyes? No. <laughs> <laughs> I should have a degree in pumpkin carving. <laughs> well, do they offer it that way? Well, they should. I figure I've, put, I've done these every year for the what set? Well, I want it this is seven or eight years. Now. Wow. Since the beginning. Huh? I've done since the beginning. This is getting very quite baroque. Oh, baroque. Yeah. No, it's not baroque. We fixed it. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I mean, you might want to call it Windows 8 or something like that. Just too many bells and whistles, right? That's cool going, Andrew. Yeah, you're loving it. So it looks like you're going for the gruesome as well, huh? That's right. First time ever painting something baroque. Well, I mean, you may want to just attach your arm to it, you know? Right. It would work. Right. Work in the water better. Oh yeah, no, but does. this is perfect for us. That's right. It gets us right where we're going at Pumpkin Fest. And you don't get wet. That's right. There's no effort. That's right. And they bring it out. We've for already you. hauled them out, see? <laughs> and we can get to see somebody painting a pumpkin. That's all okay. how good is this? And you get to sit down at the same time. Yeah, I know. It's hard getting out is harder, I find. Oh. Yeah, but you know, by the time you're ready to get out, who cares? You roll out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mine is No. Yeah. Go back and more supplies. I love you, Lord. No, do me. No three door. So are these punk furters? Uh, no, sir. They're not punk furters. Uh, or we don't, we don't, we just do meat. Oh, okay. Do veggie burgers, veggie donuts. <laughs> this is a meat only. Yes. Today from a kitty picture. Yes. Well, this pumpkin pumpkin is from Don Kerrigan, who uh, he used to own. He had Togus the cat, right? Uh, who passed away, and so we're doing a Cheshire cat that looks a bit like Togus, uh -huh. kind of an homage to him. Right. Well, you know Tom Block, right? Tom Block. He illustrated the Togus book. Oh, I didn't know. No, yeah. I didn't know there was a Togus book. Oh, yeah. Oh. Don wrote it and Tom oh, illustrated cool. it. And actually, I think they did a, a Togus uh, pumpkin a few years ago when the book first came out. Yeah. This one's going to be wearing a top hat. Oh, yeah. All done. Yep, it's all done. And has anybody come to pick strawberries yet? No, nope, not yet. Okay. No. I bet they're good though. Yep. And juicy at that size. Yep, I had fun. So you must be a dentist. 
Now, using such fine tools. It's actually a vegetable carving set. But this is a rather large vegetable. Well, yes. This is the largest vegetable I've ever used them on. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're sort of making a flower. Come around. Oh, it's quite special. Thank you. You do pastry decoration as well? I do food decoration as a lifelong hobby. Oh. I'm a chef by trade, so. Okay. Very neat. You grew one? I grew one, yeah. It was 400 to 500 pounds. Well, good for you. So. Well, I tried this year. Again, made smaller pumpkins than I'd ever made. I think it was a bad year for pumpkins because a lot of uh -huh. people seem to say pumpkins were, were troublesome. Well, I had plenty of vine. Yeah, well, that's what everyone said. The vine, lots of vine and, and not so many pumpkins. Well, and I think my cherry tomatoes were larger. Uh-huh. So the rain? No, who knows? It may not have been soil conditioning, but but obviously other people were successful. Well, this is my first year and I got seed from a champion grower in Indiana. Oh, so and you didn't go with the Pinkham's uh, uh, plantlets? No, I didn't. Um, I found out too late that they were available. But I had already gotten these seeds mm -hmm. in February, so I just went with what I had, but it, the seed was really good. Well, I guess. Because... Uh, and this is yours? No, this is not No, mine. not yours. No. This isn't anywhere near 400. It's only 250. Yeah. This is pretty light for the size of it. Mm-hmm. Because I had a 200-pound a, a pumpkin that went to the common ground fair. Ah. And I don't know, it didn't look that much. I mean, it, was a, it didn't look that much smaller than this, so. I think this is a light one. Oh, that's quite original. Neat. Mm -hmm.